Last topic, man. Chappelle's show, man. Chappelle show. Chappelle show is now back on Netflix after Dave Chappelle recently. I mean, is returning to Netflix after Dave Chappelle had asked him to take it off because CBS Viacom wasn't paying him or within a contract he wasn't going to get any type of return on the streams. But after getting the response, essentially they they came to an agreement and now it's back. As a creative though, how significant is that to you? So for me, it's fire. So at first, at first I wasn't really thinking nothing of it, and then I sat down and I thought about it, and like for me, it's fire in so many ways. Right now, I'll break it down. It shows how much of an impact you really have. Like, fuck followers. Like, we always, in a world full of fucking Instagram, we always talk about followers and this blue check. That shit don't mean nothing if you have, don't have an impact. Mm-hmm. But this showed exactly how much of an impact he had because he said, yo, this is what we're going to do. Don't watch that shit. My own show. You know what I'm saying? saying my this, show. This is what we're going to do. Don't watch that shit. They can keep it up there. Don't watch that shit. And guess what niggas want to do? They didn't watch that shit. Mm-hmm. That shows the impact. Another thing is, he said like he also got his millions. That All this shows you how special he is as a creative, right? And as, as a visionary and just as a talent. Because like for that to happen, that gives me hope. And like you know what? like We do have a say, right? Because we don't see these things happen yeah. often. Yeah. So for them to be like, you know what? Here's your show. Here's, Here's your, your money. money. Go about your day. That means that clearly that they either have a heart, which I wouldn't believe because fuck these companies. Facts. Or they just scared that he can yeah. ha- he can have Here's a bigger impact, impact than what he really had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's why it's dope for me. Yeah. I think it's dope too because like even just I think it's just another thing as creatives just knowing their worth. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, people are gonna lowball you as you get bigger. They are gonna try to take the the majority of what you actually created and they're gonna hope you're dumb enough to fall for that and the fact that dave Chappelle just knew nah take the fucking show down don't watch it i don't give a damn like i'm good like you know what i'm saying i know my worth and if y'all not gonna pay me my money fuck it fuck the show fuck y'all and i just thought that was so monumental as not only just a black creative but somebody being able to stand up for themselves in that way you know i think it's just a lesson even for us to know like, you know, when we are at those spaces, like, yo, we don't have to settle for just anything just because people got the money and say so. Like, we really can say no thank you. And either way, somebody either is going to give us back what we deserve or they're going to come back and, and give us what but, we deserve. And that's another thing I was going to say is on the flip side, and not for me to say fuck these companies because our companies aren't the bad, same, right? right. Just like, you know what right, I'm saying? So right, the right. fact that, so let's, let's, let's give them some applause too. Like, the fact that they did give him back his shit and paid him, we gotta, we gotta applaud them too. Cause some yeah. companies probably would have been like, nah, I'm gonna just do this just cause, right? Or I'm gonna just continue to eat because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's good content. I'm, I just wanna be a dick. The fact that they, 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 they gave it back to him, they gave him his money, I definitely wanna applaud that. Cause yeah. a lot of companies don't yeah. do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, kind of throwing a curveball in there. Cause this is the same company that, Nick Cannon works for it. Mm. You know, Nick Cannon uh, lost Wild and now they had parted their ways, but now he's coming back. How do two you feel? Now. Two different, it's, but same two different company. situations, same, same company, company mm. kind of the same resolve. They gave it back, but the apology and all of this stuff, how do you feel about him accepting Well, that, that lets back? me know that black creatives run the show, okay? And without them, you will take a major hit. And that's just all I'm saying. Because we're talking about Nick Cannon and Dave Chappelle. These are two not even just legends, but they are two, they have their own wave that they've had for years on years on years, which means they have a fan base, what I like to call like a cult base. Like you can't take their fans away from them. Their fans are their fans, like die hard, rock hard, and they rocking with them regardless. And when you take that away from your platform, that's a major hit. Like that's a major hit. Two of the biggest, you know what I'm saying, uh, entertainers that, you know, we have, so. So I think, you know, when it comes to that. Would you take it back? <clears throat> Um, would I take it back? Probably so. I'm going to tell you why. I've learned over the years that, like, all this shit is about business. You know what I'm saying? Like, none of this shit is personal. And if Viacon is going to cut the bigger check, fuck it. I'm yeah. going to just take my job back. It's yeah. a job at the end of the day. <clears throat> However, what I will say is, when it comes to that, one, maybe he's thinking about He's thinking about the other people that he's employed, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I need to get my team back their mm-hmm. job. That's that's a major part we gotta look uh, look into, right? Because it's like, yo, it's not just about me now. Yeah. Right. It's about so many more yeah. people. Two, <clears throat> can I be real for a second? Mm-hmm. I think it. I don't want to get dragged, but I'm a, I'm a I'm a creator, and I should, probably shouldn't be on this side. But I'm gonna just be real. From my perspective, I can't talk about David Chappelle. I can talk about Nick Cannon. 
ever since that situation went happened, I ain't really see um Nick Cannon like that. I don't think his uh Cannon's class been doing like that many numbers. I go to watch him and like they aren't that interesting to me. So for as far as like I like Nick Cannon, so as a Nick Cannon fan, I follow him. Mm -hmm. But far as like a large perspective or a large scale, I haven't seen him around like that, right? I definitely do think it's dope that they were offering him his position back because it's be, just to be honest, they didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wild and Out definitely made a lot of money for yeah. the company, right? But at that moment, after that situation, I don't know about y'all, but I haven't really seen him like that. But it, I also <laughs> think it speaks to the fact that it's the team he created and what they mm, brought. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's because he did employ a lot of people, and a lot of them are comedians that actually are rising through this mm -hmm. pandemic. You know, shout out to the 85 South show. And you see all their... The, all the creators he had on his show still trying to strive, still try to get it. And, you know, when you combine them all as a team, that's a lot of weight. You right. get what I'm saying? So, you know, Nick Cannon, maybe not so much, but because he created that and that was his and what he brought and people who worked under him. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I remember when they tried to offer his uh, yeah, teams fly, yeah. Yeah, uh, he denied pieces it. of the pie. They denied because at the end of the day, if you're not going to bring my creator back with me, I don't want to come. You know but what I'm that saying? Shows, so now <laughs> it shows like, to me, he, he it's also about his team and what he can bring to the table and what type of creatives he pushed to the front. And that's what I was gonna say. It shows as like how much, how much he brings as a person, yeah, as a creative, as yeah. a like you know what I'm saying because mind, as a visionary. Like, yeah. I say that because like even though he has been off the grid, what if I would say mm. for lack of better words, I think that his the people around him, mm -hmm. all of them niggas was lit. Like yeah. you see. I haven't really seen nothing about B. Simone, but let's say the 85 South Show is one of the hottest fucking podcasts out there. I mean, you had Cat Williams there at one point. Let's not talk yeah. about yeah. who's yeah. on now, but yeah. just... But I'm saying, like, let's say... Like, let's say being able to bring the artists that the, he would bring on each Exactly, every week, to bring right? them on shows, it shows up who you are, like how yeah. much of a reach you yeah. actually got. Because even though my numbers might not be as doing doing as well as everybody around me, the fact that I can get them yeah. in the room, that's what really yeah. matters. That's mm -hmm. that influence. Yeah, yeah I might not be on Wild and Out, and yeah, my right. podcast might not be doing the most numbers, but guess what? I can get those, those people, people who's mm -hmm. doing the most numbers in the room when you could never. Yep, exactly. Right? That shows like exactly. The power yeah. of Jamie Foxx. Kind of yeah, like, it's, right? He's yeah. Always been exactly yeah. the power yeah. of Jamie Foxx. The yeah. fact that like, yeah, y'all don't know me as a singer, yeah. but guess what? I'm about to throw Diddy party. I'm about to throw Jay-Z party. Y'all don't know who I am, yeah. but I can get these people in the same yeah. room when y'all yeah. could never. Like when they asked DC Young Fly to join, he said no. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I think that shows just how powerful a, as a creative he really was. Yeah. And I think that's super dope. Nah, I think dope. it's dope. Because like you said, like if you can't get these people without me, then realistically you do need me. You need me. me. You need me. Like So it's like you don't have to, but you kind of have to. Like, yeah. And I think that's just good for anybody to take just in general. Just like make right yourself away. so valuable that people can't tell you no. And you know honestly, saying? though, yeah, it's that. <clears throat> and it's honestly like, yo, we got to... I know this is easier said than done because niggas really be struggling, right? So, like, these 360 deals that niggas want to make fun of now, they was changing people's lives at one point. Yeah. So, like, yeah, we can go on a grid because niggas know a little bit better. We know we know a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We do a little bit more research. Mm -hmm. We understand that it's different, social media and all that, et cetera, et cetera. We can't ignore the fact that these 360 deals was the same deals that was changing niggas' lives. Or so, with mm -hmm. that being... I'm sorry. With that being said, we got to understand, like, yo... If we're going to talk about these 360 deals, we also got to talk about the power of being independent, mm -hmm. right? The power of understanding mm -hmm. that, yo, I might have to sacrifice this bag for right now right. for the long run. Right. Because if I stay independent, right? And yeah. it's also faith. It's also trusting yourself, betting on yourself. Because a lot of times, a lot of niggas take these deals because they're scared that yeah. they don't have what it takes to By become that, that platform, yeah. right? Like. Ah, so I'm gonna take this deal, but it's nothing wrong with it because it yeah. changes people's lives. Like but at the same time, you gotta have that confidence. And I, and I think it's something that's the first time I actually looked at it in that perspective. Like you know, I know we give a lot of backlash to the companies that do these things, but at the end of the day, like you didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And at a time, like it was changing people's lives, and it's just that as the world goes on and everybody evolves, like we learn different ways. But it doesn't mean that they learned in that way. Like they might be learning that too. Like damn, like they actually don't need us no more. Like now they can. Do this way so now we got to go about this different or now our deals got to be different or what we offer them has to be different because everybody is evolving the world is not the same and the power to get go viral and things are so much easier than it was back then Who, question and, and, i was what, what, wait, i think we we're going to say the same no, thing. oh because i you know question speaking of viral moments you know soldier boy came out and was like he created the viral moment which i think 
So I was like, shut the fuck up. Damn, it's creating no fucking viral moment. Like, viral been viral since viral. Like, what are you talking about? No, it was on the radio. A lot of people was agreeing with him so, saying so, that he, he, he created so, the viral. Soulja Boy, let's not get it fucked up. Soulja Boy cultivated this social media ever. Let's give him his respect. But to say you created a viral, like, the, the viral. The idea of a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro. Like, viral been around. It just was. Since. Yeah, yeah, like since forever, or like even viral. like news, like news. Yeah, news, uh, like, yeah. Like, like, like news stories, always. Exa- stories have always advanced yeah. due to the news. That's and what they do. News, yeah. chase like radio, yeah. been chasing the the next new artist for a minute. Or wow, even the We're always chasing the buzz, right, because, yeah. the hottest story, right? Because if I get the hottest, random, you know, thing or even like things like Wrigley, Wrigley's, believe it or not, like they've been chasing those like one offs, like things you've never seen before, yeah. or like you know what I'm saying. So like it goes deep. But like, to say yeah. he created a viral moment. I was going to ask you about this, though. Like, far as talking about to the business, right? I feel like money really isn't the root of all evil. It's greed. Oh, yeah. And I feel like a That's lot a of us get greedy, and, and it's, it, it, we don't even see it, honestly, right? So, like, these companies that do, let's say, 360 deals, where, you know, I'm going to give you an advance. You have to pay me back for everything, right? As yeah. a business, honestly... Why wouldn't you get if, if I could do that as a business, then yeah. I'm I'm making the most on the back end. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of businesses carry it that way. Mm-hmm. But when it's black or when 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 we're not benefiting from it, mm-hmm. that's when we have a problem. But we be some of us, not all of us, some of us be the same ones cultivating these things. Mm-hmm. We be the same one pushing and and and, and, <clears throat> and promoting these things like, man, how can I make the most money I can make? Mm-hmm. But when it's when we're when we're on the other side, we don't like yeah. it. If we really have a problem with this, we can't. We can't continue to promote this. If we want to be fair, we got to be fair around the board. Like I feel yeah. like a lot of times, pe- we 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 really don't want equality. We want revenge. Mm-hmm. And we got to get out of that mentality, right? Like this is this ain't about nothing else but business mm-hmm. right now, right? Like so, it's like, bro, if you think it's unfair, same same way I can say, yo, whatever you expect from me, give. Mm-hmm. Whatever we expect from other companies or other people, mm-hmm. give too. So like when we have our own companies, don't just pay somebody minimum wage because we can get away with it. Mm-hmm. Pay them what they what they yeah. worth. Pay them what's fair. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when somebody else do it to us, we, we yeah. oh, these people don't give yeah. a fuck about us. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, yeah. let's give out what we want. And and I think it's like you said, like, uh, a lot of people don't realize at a point you're going to be in the same positions that you're actually down to somebody else for. Like, if you're a business owner, like, by law, you got to pay people a certain amount of rank depending on where they live or depending on where you are. And even if you want to pay them more, you might have to stay or depending on the loan you got, you still have to stay under right. these things. So you got to understand you can't really down companies for doing certain things because some of these things, they're following a protocol that they have no choice but to do. And even if they wanted to, they don't have the money to either do it. They don't have the budget to do it in these things. So without knowing the back end details, like we just got to be honest and understand our lane in, in the positions that we're in. Like if we're not in a position to do certain things, we're just not. And you have to do what you can until you are in those positions to be able right. to make those calls. And like if you're not in that position, you can't expect them to just do something because to be deep down, you're not in those positions for a reason. And if you knew better, you'd be in the position. So obviously you are also missing a piece of the information that you don't know as well. But well, something else you just said, like, yo, understand that all this shit is temporary. If you have a, a idea of what you, what, where you want to go, understand that this is just a part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have to take... Your first deal was not about to be your best deal. Yeah. But understand that, like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to make this a long-term deal because I need to be able to position myself yeah. in a few years to make a better negotiation, yeah. right? And I think it's just all with knowledge, right? Yeah. Just continue to, to research things, continue to study, yeah. and continue to just better yeah. your mind, man, better yeah. yourself. And I think it has a lot to do with that, just knowing better. Because, like you said, like, a lot of people go into certain things just not knowing better. But when you know better, you know you can demand certain things. In fact, and before you sign a contract, if you know certain things and then you want certain things, you got to learn to speak up and stop letting people speak for you. Read the contract. Yeah, there it is. Bring it to a lawyer. Read the contract. Read the contract. Read the contract. Yeah.